Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel, if you're new here, hi, hello, I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and join the growing family, turn notifications on so you never miss a video and my dad give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today I want to talk about hallucinations. Now I've never made a direct video talking about hallucinations before but because when I'm on the right dose of meds I don't experience any. As most of you know, if you haven't seen the video I'll link it up here, my psychiatrist reduced my haloperidol dose without consulting me and it's caused me to have symptoms again which have included hallucinations and delusions. Well, I want to focus on hallucinations. So, the most disturbing one that I get at the minute is bugs crawling under my skin. Honestly, it's one of the worst ones that I have. It makes me literally want to claw at my own skin to get it to stop. I know they're not real, but it feels real. And that's what you call a tactile hallucination. It has been a wild ride the last two weeks. And tactile hallucinations are the ones I hate the most. Because you, you feel like bugs crawling over you and at night it's so hard to sleep because you can feel bugs crawling over you even though there's nothing now. So now I did get bit by something. I'm not sure what bit me but I did get bit by something which hasn't helped. Going to hallucinations because it makes me think they're real because I have literally been bit by something. So the next type of hallucination that I experience are visual. Now for me visual hallucinations are not that common but the one that I have repeatedly at the minute is shadow people. I don't trust shadows because they transform into people and they come at me. Like they turn 3D off the wall and they come towards me. I've woke up screaming from it because it was in my nightmare. I've screamed in the middle of the day because it was happening. I tried closing my eyes and then really vivid images came into my head. But these shadow people are terrifying. I don't know what abilities they have, but they are so real. They're, well, they're not real because they're a hallucination, but they feel real. Real enough to make me scream. And lastly, we have auditory hallucinations. Now, these piss me off. <laughs> because I hear people calling my name in voices that are likely to be in the building. So I open my door, no one's there. And the thing doesn't know I'm on the top floor in this block of flats. You wouldn't call it a block of flats, it's, it's a house with multiple flats in. So auditory hallucinations. I hear people calling my name, I hear people knocking on my door, I hear the fire alarm going on. It's just chaotic because I respond to these things in real time and they're not there which a bit inconvenient I'm not gonna lie I don't like getting out of bed why do I experience hallucinations? currently it's because my haloperidol dose got cut in half with no warning thanks to that psychiatrist I suppose to go when I have that psychiatrist in an appointment the first thing I'm going to say is, what the fuck were you thinking? Because my god, has it been stressful. But I hear, I have hallucinations because I have bipolar disorder. I'm type 1 bipolar. And yeah, I experience hallucinations. My psychosis isn't too severe, but it does have an impact on my day to day life. That's all I've got for this video and if you want me to make more videos on subjects like this let me know in the comments down below you got any questions leave them in the comments down below and i'll do a q a thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video peace